done one of these before, so I figured I'd, I'd go and try. I picked, as what you can see, is perhaps the longer one, and as such, uh, for brevity and time's sake, I chose to translate part of it and then sort of give cliff notes of the rest of it as it <coughs> parallels down into chaos, as we will see. Uh, I was not entirely sure if this was a letter, uh, a couple of scenes, there appears to be a rather change in narrative and a lot of context that is missing. Uh, you may also realize, if you ever looked at one of these close, I'm sure you can't see the distance, this is in Greek. <laughs> now, I've looked at the Greek alphabet a couple times, and I took Latin in my youth, and the Romans conquered Greece, so that's close enough, right? right. I'm, I'm perfectly qualified to read this. So I'll be bouncing back and forth between the words and the translation. All right, starting off. Otan o penretes enos antropaxi eta pai matsi to to korkoti koitate. So that starts off with when one is asked to make antipasto from corn, it's difficult. <laughs> Now, for those of you going, this is corn is new world. This is late Renaissance. The new world has been discovered, but there's probably not a lot of corn back in Europe yet. Perhaps this is the difficulty. It's not explained. Paiskanpa ena po anafera to kotavi. Perhaps I mentioned to you a certain scampi. Again, a little food related. And it goes on with a, a story that I would love to have more of the explanation to, but is, again, missing in context. Enapo esosa apo mimo otan pes in teo epic apo tos tyros adelphos kai adelphos to pigan se auto. One that I epically saved from drowning in a cart drawn by three or four young pigs. <laughs> I would love to hear that story. It's almost more interesting than what comes later. <laughs> All right. <coughs> and then he goes on to explain his satisfaction with where he is. To echo didaxi, while you uh, repeatedly say, opos ak pivos eta elege canis, when the dog sits on your lap. <laughs> you know, Canis is dog. I've also mentioned eta a couple times. Maybe a Greek word you may recognize. This is what it is. Eta. Afto eta mythena epvak postlo. I'm leaving post haste. <laughs> However, me me estelian na paradoso. Ron plus dupo otnu kaira silvia apoton afenti mo. I am here in paradise with the foolish lord forest I mentioned to you before. Again, when it has not been explained, this is maybe in the middle of something, it assumes context not given herein. And here's where it gets to the point where I'm not entirely sure this is a fully credible account. Kai upika ameos in trapezaria alas autos. While above, emerous, flings, fig, uh, emerous pigs fly through the air in cartwheels. <laughs> Ala autos, literal translation, like carts, makes more sense with the trapezaria, to, like trapeze, to be in cartwheels. Now, before reading this, I had always assumed flying pigs meant with wings. It had never occurred to me that they might be circus performers of some sort. <laughs> and finally, back to some food. Me pai oto zakpaki tins kai tins klevi to podi to kaponi. Here with my pie and my cans and cans of chicken legs. <laughs> now, strictly podi to kaponi would be capon feet but I didn't imagine that many containers of chicken feet was probably paradise, so chicken legs <laughs> made more sense. And at this point, the narrative takes a sudden turn. Again, this might be a scene change. Who knows? Oh, and I kako otan ivak korrelations den borai na synkraties tasi se oles tes etieres. Oh, it is time to run. The boring retired relatives arrive together. 
This could have been tra possibly be translated as in-laws, but we'll go with relatives for the moment. <coughs> eta exa opos eta e prepe va. Our opposition is prepared. Uh. Hey, canis autos po ton parne na evave oculos. Like dogs in the scent, in a pair of carts, I spy them. Na eva evai san na lemui skylos se ola ta pragmata. To be prudent or literally pragmatic, we must flee to the open air, or literally sky, but open air made more sense than what might perhaps it mean jumping off a cliff. Andan exa pio e hypnos epo eknan nami categorisai pu e kava. And then do not think to count or perhaps categorize me as one asleep. I presume this is in reference to his ability to spy the oncoming relatives. At this point, the rest of the text descends into madness, um, and perhaps not fully repeatable madness, as the author, in his flight to avoid his relatives, is forced to hide under the table of dogs, must crab walk out of the chamber, and is forced to flee for so long that he considers turning his socks into puddings. <laughs> Finally, he stands amid the geese, demanding shelter from Lord Forrest, lest he do to his doorstep what a goose might eventually do to a pallid bust of palace that it chose to sit upon for an extended period. Finally ending with the line, Me ekete dei pote kano tetoio kolpo. My God, did you ever hear a tale such as this? 